Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly love reading. We're going to be starting with the Angel Answer Oracle cards. This card answers your question. Sometimes it becomes part of the reason, sometimes both. Okay, card for Scorpio, please. For the week of April 24th, 2021. Let's see, card for Scorpio. Oh, okay. We're going to take this one. Because it flipped over Put the rest away for now. Oh, and I've been having this thing. I've been taking a uh, spellcasting oracle card at the end also, which has been uh, very interesting in sometimes changing the direction of the reading slightly. Sagittarius, it definitely made a huge difference. So let's see here, Scorpio. Let's get your Romance Angel Oracle card. Whoa! Well, we're going to ignore everything that went flying off the table because one flipped right side up within the deck, which is the one I just put down. So we'll ignore the others for now. Oh, what a pain. Oh, I like it. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This to me is about being present. Now, in today's day and age, half the people are walking around with their cell phones in their hands through gardens, through the park, through so many things. This to me says, put your phone in your pocket. <laughs> if you're by flowers, enjoy the beauty of the flowers. You're by the water, enjoy the water. Enjoy the sounds of the woods, the feeling of things. I remember learning about mindfulness and we talked about like washing dishes which is so mundane, is the feeling of the sponge in your hand. So liken that to sitting at the on a park bench. And I know that a lot of park benches are blocked off, but not all of them. But you could think about it. You're sitting there. What do you hear? What do you see? How does the park bench feel? Is the sun on your neck? Is the sun on your face? Are there plants? Are there flowers nearby that you can smell? There's all these things about being, so attracting love sometimes is just about being present because when you are there, it's so much different. You know, somebody is more likely to approach you if you're present. It's not easy to approach someone, say, who's on their phone, you know, playing a video game or texting or messaging or whatever it is in the middle of a park or wherever. So put the phone away, enjoy the moment. And I believe this is what draws love to you. That's what this is talking about. So let's see here. Let's get you some tarot cards. These are the Dark Mansion Tarot. All the cards I use are listed down below. Most of them I get at local places. A few of them I've gotten on Amazon. This deck actually is from Poland, believe it or not. My favorite, most expensive deck ever. Some cards for Scorpio for love. Okay, then. Let's see here. So, wow. Well, okay. So, the first card that came out is the Nine of Pentacles. She's got everything. She doesn't have love, but... If you pay attention to the pentacles, you know, seven of pentacles is planting those seeds. Eight of pentacles is, you know, working hard and enjoying, you know, the work to grow whatever you're growing. This to me would be um, your career, your money. Nine of pentacles is success. You know, you've managed to get what you wanted. You have possibly a beautiful home. You have a, a fruitful career, you know, you're established, you're doing well, not necessarily love. Then you get the Empress card. Now, to me, it almost looks like progress. It's like looking into your future. Look at the way, it's almost like they look at each other. See, she's looking, it looks like at her and the Empress is holding her pregnant belly. She usually has 12 stars in her headdress, which she has here. 
And this is the mother of all the zodiac. So I believe that as you've come to a point now where you're starting to see possibilities for your future, because the Empress is, she's, she's what gives birth to everything. She is, you know, I mean, we went from this house to a castle and, you know, pregnant and, you know, maternal, caring, growing. This could be, <laughs> this to me symbolizes almost, and I notice all the flowers around her. So I have to say that with the attraction card and the flowers and smelling the flowers, these are roses. Are they roses? No, they're not. I apologize. Sunflower roses. But this to me is talking about moving from, you know, the success of your career and being more uh, mindful of the possibility of a future with family because the Empress being pregnant. Um, the next card you got were the Four of Swords, which is taking a break, you know. It's taking a break from everything that's going on. Traditionally, he's meditating, he's praying, you know. But this one, this almost seems remorseful, you know. Makes me think of taking a time out because you're thinking of what you've missed. Because when I put it with the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Wands is, you know, you have, this is past the six of wands the six of wands is the you know celebration it's the soldier back from war he is successfully you know conquered the seven of wands is yes i've made it but now i have to defend it and this is being convicted strong conviction of what you're doing so i think that it took you a while and it's to me it's almost like you've gone through these stumbling blocks so i want to say that you have successfully you know uh, establish yourself in your career and now you're looking at you know the possibility of a family but I feel that this week you're going to be seriously thinking about you know what does that look like for you you know because you have come to the top maybe gotten so far in your career that it's almost like you're wondering does this affect your future so you would be defending how far you've come in your career. Would you lose any ground? It feels like to me by adding a family. Um, and maybe that's what this is about when it comes to being in the moment and why I'm talking about mindfulness is that realizing that you've spent so much time in your career that you have to become more mindful of the other things, the other parts of your life. So this week, I believe you'll be spending some time contemplating whether you want to establish a relationship with someone. Just my feeling. Let's see. Can we get some more clarity for Scorpio? Some more clarity for Scorpio. Sorry. Low power warning. <laughs> Anything else for Scorpio? Let's hope that it doesn't go out on me. No, nope, doesn't want to tell you anything, so we're going to leave it. It's just going to be you. What was your question, Scorpio? Choose a new direction. So, don't know what your question was, but to me, if you feel like you're going to lose out on your, your uh, career, I don't know how you can move on with love. I think you have to find a balance. So... Let's see. If the time keeps going, let's see. Do we have time? I want to get you a spellcasting oracle card. Because I've been getting, like, love reading with a hint of uh, career. Three, two, one. Scorpio, your card is financial healing. Which would make perfectly good sense with the nine of pentacles and the empress. Your financial healing is well on its way. That's what this says. It's the affirmation that, yes, you've put enough time in and you are working on it. This, to me, says that you do have time to stop and enjoy the, the smell of roses. Smell whatever flowers. <laughs> Be in the moment and enjoy the outside world a bit. So, 
You do what you know is best for you. Do your due diligence, Scorpio. Thank you very much for being here. Bye-bye.